What is NFT and how can you make money using it? There's so much stuff happening in the digital space right now. If you're not following, you're missing out for the opportunity to make money. Crypto, blockchain, Bitcoin, NFT are the buzzwords now. These are digital assets that help you build income sources. Crypto, blockchain, and Bitcoin, you know them. But what is NFT and how it will help in your investing? Hello, this is your own channel, helping you to gain knowledge on passive income streams. Today, we will walk you through NFTs. By the end of this video, you will learn what is NFT and how you can make money using NFTs. Stay to the end to learn about NFTs. Like and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell button to avoid missing the latest videos as soon as we update. You already know that NFT is the new buzzword and you must have come across the crazy stuff happening around NFTs. Jack Dorsey's first ever tweet sold as an NFT for an oddly specific $2,915,835.47. That's huge. A famous artist, Beeple, sold an NFT of his artwork for $69 million. Well, I don't want you to miss out on anything. Without wasting time, let's jump into the topic. To start with, what is NFTs? Coming to full form, NFT stands for Non-Fungible Token. NFT has two parts, NF, non-fungible, and T, token. Let's see one by one. Non-fungible means non-replaceable or non-exchanged, meaning you cannot replace or exchange an asset with another similar one. To make this simpler, let's take a look at a few examples. Consider a $100 bill. It can be 10 $10 bills and a one $100 bill. Both hold same value, are similar and replaceable. That means they're fungible. The opposite is what NFTs are. That means non-replaceable or non-exchanged. Also, NFTs are digital, unlike the above ones. Likewise, take a baseball or a helmet. Both are replaceable with another, unless the baseball or the helmet holds some value, emotional, or significance to them, like they possess a unique value to them. Similarly, a painting can be replaced by another, but the painting of Mona Lisa is not replaceable, as it holds significance, making it non-fungible. Another example would be a piece of land or your house. They hold value and emotion, that's why they cannot be replaced with a similar piece of land or another house. Don't forget, all of these are physical assets. So the opposite is what non-fungible means. Unlike the above examples we saw, NFTs come in digital space and cannot be replaced or exchanged for a similar asset or similar value, making it unique in its nature. Now that we've seen the non-fungible part of NFT, the next part is T, the token. What is a token? To the core, a token is a registry. Registry of what? We'll see now. The concept of NFTs came from the idea of decentralizing the financial system. This is opposite to the current centralized financial model that is managed by the banks. To understand this, let's take a small transaction. For example, you bought a pizza from the local vendor. How does it work? You'll buy the pizza and pay. But how does this transaction go? There are a few intermediaries called the banks that manage and maintain this transaction, maintaining the registry. When you hit pay, your bank will check do you have enough funds in your account or not, and then communicates with the bank of the vendor, finally completing the transfer. This record keeping privately managed by the banks in a decentralized way. Then a question arised. Can we use internet and digital stuff to manage these transactions in a centralized way, in the public and transparent way, instead of the banks doing them privately? This is blockchain technology, an open, centralized record keeping and public on the internet by excluding the banks. In the above transaction, imagine all the record keeping is maintained by the entire public of that blockchain and banks are no more part of the game. This is blockchain technology on which crypto, Bitcoin and Dogecoin currencies and even NFTs are based on. 
per se, if there are 1 million or even 1 billion people in the blockchain, your transaction will be seen by all of them, making it a public record of 1 million or 1 billion people, a proof of your asset with a record keeping from all the people in that blockchain. In the example, 1 million people are proof of your asset, a proof that you own the asset, so no one else can copy that. That makes it an open and transparent record keeping in the digital space. That's what token means, and together, NFT means. If you are a creator and you can create a digital asset, maybe an album, a painting, or digital collectibles, additionally, if you want to sell, you can sell in exchange for digital currency, and the transaction record is visible to all in that blockchain. This is how NFTs, non-fungible tokens work, and how you can make money using it. That's all on NFTs. Consider it as my opinion based on what I see in the market. This video is for learning purpose and not a financial advice.